Welcome to Wicked Shizuku's Reviews, bringing you a southern perspective on books, movies, music, and much, much more. Stick around for a while, you just might hear something wicked. Well, hey everyone. Sorry, it's been a very long time. Um, let me change my lighting here for you. Uh, just, there we go. That's a little better. So I've been gone for quite some time. I haven't. I haven't even thought of broadcasting in quite a while. Um. Yeah, so, an update, I had the surgery, um, went through that, and I find out while I'm in the hospital that I was, uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and this is right before my 39th birthday, <laughs> you know, so it was kind of crazy for me. So I find that out to get the double stacked hernia uh, fixed and everything. They had to put mesh in. Uh, um, I've been reading a lot, uh, writing a lot. Uh, but I haven't been online so much. I kind of uh, just dropped off of the grid. Pretty much when it came to even using my computer, I closed the computer. Um, but I even turned off the phone, you know, for days at a time. I won't even use the phone. I completely power it off. And uh, uh, if you can notice, I also did a little rearranging of furniture. That took a couple of weeks of time after recovery to get done because you know I have to do stuff very slowly and I still haven't even been cleared by the doctor for um, picking up anything over 20 pounds yet so it's completely ridiculous having to try to go by uh, recovery and everything and uh, also trying to get used to a new diet is completely ridiculous as well but uh I've noticed that, you know, I still haven't gotten a lot of traffic, um, but that's okay. I'm not really doing that for this, um, for lots and lots of traffic. I want my relationships to be genuine, and uh, I came up in a place where it's better to have four quarters than 100 pennies, so I always take that to heart. and. Uh, Pretty much, I've uh, the only thing that I have been keeping up with is is news, podcasts, and lots of uh, lots of articles and everything that uh, Mr. Jones likes to provide. Also, Mr. Shroyer and Mr. Smith. So I've been binging on uh, a lot of the um, network that shall not be named, and uh, a lot of associated podcasts that go along with that. I don't agree with everything. That I've seen, but hmm, you know, a lot of a lot of things are starting to get really interesting and questionable. Um, the media circus that's going on in geopolitics—it's uh, not a surprise if people have been actually paying attention to a um, writer that. Regularly shows up on Glenn Beck's program, uh, Peter Schweitzer. He's written several books about the current administration and the family that inhabits the White House. He's told us exactly what's been going on for a long time since 2016 in Secret Empires by Peter Schweitzer. 
I talk about this book a lot um, in some of my articles from Mothers to Monsters and uh, hopefully my audio has finally ironed itself out. I worked for uh, quite a few days just trying to get the audio fixed. I hope it has finally been ironed out and I hope that when I go to screen share that it won't uh, start the same problems that it did. However, I'm going to transition for you and I will be reading you the first six parts of From Mothers to Monsters. And we don't have to worry about any copyright stuff, so I don't need that pesky text this time. Let me make the display capture a tiny bit bigger. All right, so I'm going to get on with it. I'm going to take you to the first one, and I'm going to read this to you. Smidge smaller for everyone. Hello, new readers, and thank you for perusing my thoughts that might break into your AT fields. I hope you stick around for a while. Those who might recognize the name from Goodreads or AnimePlanet.com, my apologies for being away for so long. I missed writing to you. Let's get this rolling, shall we? The image below is one of the best fictional mothers portrayed in anime. Eva 1, Neon Genesis Evangelion Season 1, Episode 25. You're asking, but how can this be? It's a robot. Yes, yes. Technically, a mecha with an incredible backstory, but I'm digressing a tad. I just had to say it. I've spent my entire life in the Deep South, so it came as a surprise with Ke Clarence Thomas's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. I honestly didn't think I would live to see this, yet I anticipated the trigger laws that would be set off in my state if it ever did come to pass. I am very torn on this issue mainly because of the political atmosphere and likely violence that will come to pass. I encourage readers to find a book titled The Soil, a portrait of the rural life in Meiji, Japan by Takashi Nagasuka. In this book, there is an impoverished Japanese family during the Meiji era, husband, wife, and two children. The story starts as this wife is selling bean curd to everyone across the countryside while the oldest child is caring for the younger child. The husband is working out in the field for the landlord with other men. The wife walks home in the rain and takes ill, but she comes down with morning sickness the following day. This led to a decision that affected not just her, but the rest of the family by using her cherry, a cherry tree root to abort her baby. Her subsequent death leads to the breakdown of the surviving family members. The only argument from this book that I can agree with is that there is at least a sterile procedure and for it not to devolve back into this brutality. That doesn't mean easily available or on the taxpayer's dime and for emergency use only. Climate change truth. You are the carbon they want to reduce. A senior fellow of geopolitical thinking and author Peter Zahon has a unique perspective that with the retirement of the boomer generation, there's going to be an upcoming shortage of labor over 400,000 workers over the next five years. Life and birth rates are of the utmost importance for a country to sustain itself. How long does it take to grow a human? About 20-ish years, he says. This set little alarm bells off in my head. 
several years ago when I read his book, Disunited Nations. I remember thinking, I suppose that makes me a rebel, since I'm a millennial who decided to take the road of a homemaker and a mother. I'm looking forward to reading his newest follow-up book, which he made available on YouTube and Amazon for free. The American Nations Today Alright, so you see this. This map is a breakdown of how Americans geographically identify, where we come from, 306 different counties with a few states holding on to parish si or commonwealth systems. So think about that, everybody. 3,006 counties. That's 3,006 school boards, right? What if there was enough upset mamas that went up to their school board and just said they don't agree. And that's it. Anyhow, let me get back to this. This is where it starts to get sticky on many av avenues of thought because you have on the other side of the political spectrum, you have the insanity and paranoia of media, social or mainstream. Whether you tune into ABC, NBC, CBS, M MSNBC, Fox, CNN, Daily Wire, InfoWars, Real America's Voice, Frank Speech, or various Twitch and YouTube channels. There is a degree of outrage, if I may though. Oh well, it'll all come out, it'll all come loose in the wash. In the wash. By S. Tolson. I have three brothers, small, medium, and large. While I'm the little sister looking to my big sister, she is good at numbers while I'm good at letters. One by one, they leave, taking the opportunity. Big brother, almost a Sarge. The youngest, unfairly at large. The middle, a proud father of three. Loving models, I wish to be proud of me. Rebel, my darlings. I took that picture, and that's the title of it. Those are my children. These charming charming hominids were a way of pushing back against the system for me and my husband. Both were very hard labors that resulted in cesarean sections. After my daughter's birth, I had myself sterilized. I didn't want to go through the pain a third time, nor could we possibly afford any more children. That was my choice, but to each their own. Then the finalizing touches of NAFTA hit Northeast Alabama with the shutdown of the Warner Ladder Company. Below, I will pro provide a few links to my blogger for some background, a bit of background with a smidgen bit more and some sprinkles on top. But that's for you to go and investigate. You can find this at Substack under wickedchizukusreviews.com or, or, or just look at it. Anyhow, I stayed home with them from day one while he had the job, military service or otherwise. My job has been mom while self-educating myself. I didn't schedule play dates or make nice nice with anyone where we went. I've practiced a minim minimalist lifestyle and have been very grateful for the possessions which I own. Is why I've limited my shopping trips and library runs to be my one getaway so I could come home to blanket forts wrestling matches. When my husband was discharged from the army, we lived with my parents for the following six years where my health rapidly deteriorated. So when someone tries to tell, tries to convince me I need experimental gene therapy, I am perfect, whole, and complete just as I am. Even without my gallbladder, appendix, and spleen wore out, but I'm still here. We are so close to beautiful spring, shall I tell you, how the angels sing. I postponed my formal education until my youngest finished the seventh grade. This wouldn't have been possible before the Trump administration and the administrative cleanup within the VA. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chance to take on debt. 
After this occurred, my husband was approved for 70% PTSD disability, which opened an opportunity for me half scholarship and our children full scholarship to use the Alabama GI Dependency Program. I settled on a double major in history and English. Have times been hard? Yes, in a variety of ways. Which, at the time of this recording, is a year after writing this. So, I shall continue. One, I was promised full coverage for college by three different persons in the VA office that I wouldn't have to apply for student loans. Tuition and books would be covered, but any overages over 12 plus hours would easily be covered by a Pell Grant. Here's the meme. The lie detector detected. That was a lie. When my, <clears throat> when my registration for university was complete, I discovered that I had been severely misled. Unbeknownst to the people within the VA, Alabama policymakers have been working diligently to cut the funding to veteran spouses' education opportunities. I worked my bum off and stayed on the deans and presidents list until the pandemic and my health issues just couldn't allow me to keep up in this recent semester. So it's, it's been hard since then with the surgery and everything. <laughs> now the reading this, but carrying on. Our little nuclear family moved into the house next door eight months before the blow to our finances. Sorry, I misread that. Two, our little nuclear family moved into the house next door eight months before so the blow to our finances was devastating for me to continue with the VA not holding true to the word. It was the first time I tried for a bank loan ever and I keep being told it was a policy decision and was out of their control. Our family vehicle gave up the ghost. This is number three and still resides in the front yard. Two years later it still resides in the front yard. My mother, whom had retired from the same university, loaned me her mothership to go to and from school with the added caveat. I pick up anything from the Dollar General on my way home, which is reasonable. Four. The pandemic lockdown hit March 13th, 2020. The amount of research my husband and I did up to this point was more than most. We've been following reports we were seeing from academia, which wasn't, which isn't Nature magazine. Though we aren't following biology, we're savvy enough to understand, if needed, our medical encyclopedia to look up what something was. My husband was at the point of burnout as he was also pursuing a degree in manufacturing engineering while working in the auto section at Walmart. He took the hit and resigned from Walmart. Five, I was accused of a microaggression toward an exchange student in the writer's club by someone I had several class classes with. We were also members of the archaeology club, and I learned a hard lesson. Not everyone who is friendly towards you is your friend. People can smile at your face while they slide the knife in between your ribs. Six. The, Al <laughs> the Alabama GI Dependency Program completely cut off my funding mid-semester in the fall of 2021. I literally can't move far from my chair, much less travel easily due to the pain and the bad roads. I have an intentional hernia from my spleen removal, and I'm unable to find a surgeon that will perform surgery without insurance. Premiums for someone with such an extensive medical history, such as myself, is astronomical. I've hated the thought of trying to apply for Medicaid slash disability. But if a system is set up to screw you over, what choice is left to some that were careful of how they spent their money and were trying to improve their family's future? 
there is nothing more frustrating than dealing with a miniature version of yourself with the same shit-ass attitude. It can be fun sometimes, though. Would we go back and change our spawn's conception? Not a snowball's chance in hell. There's lots of kinds of chains. You can't see most of them. The ones that bind folks together. But people build them link by link. Sometimes the links are weak. That's another funny thing, now that I think of it. Sometimes when you mend a chain, the place where you fix it is the strongest of all. Bruce Covel. Some tend to forget a lot of the rocket scientists live in the heart of Dixie, yet it's true. NASA is based in Huntsville, just a short drive from Lockheed Martin's new site, and Redstone Arsenal. My particular area hosts General Dynamics, which Alabamians call the Death, which builds and refurbishes tanks as my younglings prepare to leave the nest. In the next few years, I reflect daily on what type of future they will have. What type of economic future are they looking at? Will my children's eventual spouses be able to bear children, or will they even want to? Will either of them be drafted into an old men's war? Children being primarily raised by their grandparents was a very rare occurrence until my generation came along. Now it's an everyday thing. For shame upon those who didn't take responsibility for their own actions of folly. Some modernized, modest proposals I would like to put forward for Alabama State. One, draft legislation for term limits for the offices of the United States House of Representatives and U.S. Senators that represent Alabama State. No more than 10 years for representatives. No more than 20 years for senators. No, Stalin. I want to vote on it in 2024. No later. Make it simple. Less than five pages and no wiggle room. Sure would be a shame if people realized it's a state legislators that can set federal term limits. That would really, really back up their spending, wouldn't it? Hmm. Two. All rape kits should include a morning after pill women should also have access to the pill for birth control without a doctor's visit full stop uh she shouldn't have to go through the dirty looks of the pharmacist with their holier than thou attitude if this can't be done then it would be better for, to have women consent to compulsory sterilization when seeking an abortion so that there aren't any repeat customers which is a, as draconian as it sounds, would have been effective after a generation. Along with taking the kitty diddlers and sex offenders behind the shed to be shot. People tend to frown upon that, so... I'll let that argument alone. For federal, Federalist proposals. 1. Draft and pass legislation enforcing a Domestic Corruption Protection Act that mirrors the Foreign Corruption Protection Act. For information can be obtained on this topic by reading Peter Schweitzer's books, Secret Empires and Profiles in Corruption. No more cases like Hunter Biden ever again. Two, repair the smith Munt Act. I do not consent to being subjected to propaganda or it being distributed to my person, my family, or my fellow citizens. Wicked Shizuku's Reviews, podcasts, coming soon, if you like. Please share. Yeah. Uh, happy Independence Day. And if you would like to help or send a prayer, um, I have a give, send, and go out there. So you can find it through the very first article of from Mothers to Monsters. But I'm going to continue on today. Uh, uh, or tonight, sorry. Yeah, since this is a big update, I'm just laying it all out there. I'll just let you know who I am in this episode. So, we're continuing. Since that's what Shizuku means. <gasps> From Mother to Monsters. Part de. Hello again from the heart of Dixie. Are you high? 
that 70s show. 98 to 2006. Now, isn't that something? The last episode was in 2006, everyone. Can you... Wow. Yeah, me too. Yeah, there was an article that completely set me off. Uh, I can't even remember what it was. Let's see. It, it was it was some um, vapid article. Anyhow, a few articles did too, but uh, after seeing the effing montages of a crackhead's dong on my Twitter feed, I'm blank and furious. Make Orwell fiction again, please, people. Please. Okay, demands from this citizen. Hunter Biden's arrest for at least the possession and transaction of 20 to 21 grams of alleged crack cocaine, along with the possession of paraphernalia, according to the ARK, which that's where, um, uh, that's one of those governmental sites, blah, blah, blah. And the average cost of one gram of crack rock is 109 U.S. dollars. That, that's not the high-end crack either. That's just the average and most expensive, you know, uh, that, which can go up to 225 to 250 No matter how you look at it, this is self-admission or premeditated extortion. This is no longer just a problem. It's criminal and a national security threat. Okay, so I actually, I, I'm so nerdy here that I actually went to, you know, the, the high end and the middling and the worst, man. So Tyrone Biggums, he has a whole fucking lot worse than, to, uh, you know, old Hunter Biden by his self-admission. And then you have old Coco Mitch in the middle, which I'm, uh, I'm thinking, you know, he probably had his delivered to him somehow. You know, this is just merely allegations over the years people do you not see while the people are star are starving and homeless in the streets Tyrone Biggums has the real problem from the ship hell show not Hunter Biden why is that why <laughs> so this is the practice uh, uh this is the price difference but what crimes has Hunter Biden broken uh, the one video I, I saw would get someone like Tyrone Biggums 20 plus years. Alabama is particularly harsh for possession. The possession of any amount of any controlled substance other than in, in, an amount smaller than is specified in Schedule 5 is a Class D felony. HuntsvilleDefenseLawyer.com You know, I went through, I do, yes, uh, you know, um, what happens if you get caught with cocaine in Alabama. It is 1 to 10 years in prison for an, and not more than a $15,000 fine. Okay, you know, it's serious here. And if you get uh, caught with uh, over a specific amount, you're going to also get trafficking tagged on your ass, too. That's just how Alabama is. It is. <laughs> so, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I can't correlate this. You know, do, you know, definitely as Sean Hannity or any of the fucking Fox people will say, rules for thee, not for them, <laughs> you know, not for me. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> have I made my point? Hunter Biden, you're the worst. Um, Joe, Jill, Frank, Haley, Ashley, and Finnegan Biden's financial records are available. Uh, you know, I, I demand that they be made public. Uh, they need to be made available to the public. Any family members I've forgotten to mention included at this point. Jesus doesn't need to take the wheel. He needs to pull you over and whip you all with his flip-flop. Well, this investigation should also include the entire staff of the White House and all the heads of the department with full colonoscopies conducted on the financials of their spouse, siblings, surviving parents, and adult children, which the New York Times and the Washington Post are big fans of outing shit, and they get the effing honors of sacrificing their golden cows. Um, him? Uh, good meme here, I saw. Um, him? Wife is mad because I went to a single mother's fundraising event. Her. No, you went to a damn strip club. Him. Same thing. Proposals for citizens. Please meet your city council members as soon as possible. You're applying pressure in the wrong places. Target local media accounts. Shut them down when they lie on Twitter, Facebook, X, or other social medias or better yet completely download and delete profiles from the platforms because they're gathering your data dum-dums 
or at the local events by ruining their shots or calling them out on live camera like Ivory Hecker from Houston did. Call your local syndicate radio stations. Instead, try to avoid InfoWar affiliates and aim for your localized area. If you know where a food drive is, let people know at least something like that. And the same goes for your local Bostel Bulletins, which can... People know where the farmer's markets are. You know, times will be hard for people, although if we're smart about this, we could at least have a new renaissance with innovation and closer to the fellow man that we lost through the, that we lost through the Zoom revolution. Save seeds from any vegetables, produce, uh, or fruits that you have. If you can't garden someone in your community that can, save them. Urbanites, this will be the only way that you'll be able to break the ice with the rural folks. And I love this meme. It's one of my favorites from 2020. It comes out of uh, the Little Shop of Horrors, and it says the 2020 poinsettias are out. Oh, yes. Yes, Aubrey. Stop wasting your ammo for target practice. Bullet manufacturers were re recently encroached upon a couple of years ago by the federal government and aren't allowed to manufacture any sur sur surplus outside of military contract obligations. Make croutons out of any unused or slightly moldy bread. Just in case, <laughs> just cut off the mold. I don't think we have the luxury when famine is on the world's doorstep and knocking. Store in mason jars and they can be used for stuffing salads, crushed or crushed into big break crumbs with a free food processor, which can be an excellent filler when times are tight. No joke, break break crumbs. They just might might save us. This how to make homemade croutons article is linked in the Substack article uh, part two. Um that was the most uh, confident. It was the most comprehensive article out of the twenty I perused. Remember, waste not, want not. Um, it might not hurt to make a couple of pints of your own apple cider vinegar with leftover apple peels or cores. Wouldn't hurt, right? Um, for those new to farming, use banana peels, eggshells, Epsom salt, or chicken poo, or from rabbits or cow cows would be better. For natural natural fertilizer, pure wood ash from the lack of pot ash fertilizer caused by the incompetency of the Biden administration. You'll have to research your plants to know what they need. Uh, big thought though. What if consumers in cities were able to produce small-scale fertilizers to send to farmers? With maybe the use of an invention like this. And this is like a little composter. It's a little uh, dehydrating composter. And there's a link to it. Uh, I think it's really cool. Um, be really good for restaurants to have something like this. And, you know, be able to create compost that would go out to the farms and everything or their local farmers would pick it up from the restaurants and you know it would be a symbiotic relationship and everything. So there you go Ian Crossland from uh, Tim Cass. Um, when you only have a bit of cleaner left for your kitchen or bathroom products stop throwing the bottles away unless they're clearly unusable. Fill the bottles with a third, of, a third cup of vinegar and fill the remainder with water and about two Two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. You got more cleaner. Uh, put these away just in case. Um, unless unless they have, uh, you know, the bottles have bleach in them, you know, rinse them out first. Uh, or buy the refill sizes while they last. Um, if you haven't gotten to know your neighbors, it's time. Because if things aren't fixed with the energy crisis soon, people will only be able to go as far as they can walk. Gen Z, I suggest that you watch an old show called Walton's Get Familiar. Um, will you have an ally or will you have to defend yourself from your neighbor? I suggest everyone find the movie Goodbye World 2014 to completely understand this thought web. I prefer the Waltons, but I won't hesitate to go Goodbye World on a person. How about you? Proposals for Alabama State. I'm tired of the constant effing campaigns and call for similar legislation as other countries. The example given here is the United Kingdom and the City of London in particular. 
pick particular um have that limit uh campaigns and their ads to only six weeks prior to any election gop rnc trump dnc or any other ngo stop spamming me i don't fucking consent stop it um write and pass legislation limiting campaign contribution to <laughs> contributions to be donated by alabama residents only and no more than fifteen hundred dollars u.s dollars per donor additionally ban businesses and corporations from donating let's see how fix how fast we can get this shit fixed huh well maybe we can alabama so uh next pro proposals demands for federal legislators i doubt any of this shit will ever get anywhere and i'm being awful tonight you know yeah my sugar my sugar levels have now fucking uh skyrocketed because now dinner's finally kicking in and woo yeah it's like fucking being drunk and uh anybody knows that doesn't have a spleen or a gallbladder you know it's not smart to drink so it's like that it's like being drunk i fucking hate it anyhow uh let's get back to it four committees should be formed as soon as t the 22 uh, 2022 new Congress members fannies hit their seats. Well, maybe that did happen. I'll have to, I'll have to check up on this. Uh, I'll have to actually follow up on this part. One who was responsible for the death of Jeffrey Epstein. Really, too convenient to be a suicide, in my opinion. There wasn't a power vacuum left in his wake. Someone as louder with Crowder would say. Prove me wrong. Who were his clients? When will they see jail time? It's pretty damn racist when R. Kelly gets 30 years and Ghislaine Maxwell only gets since 20 years. There's your systematic racist. Reparations for the victims. Second, an investigation of the vice president's funding sponsoring of the legal defense of antifa members and involvement with blm inc during the 2020 george floyd riots and the, an impeachment committee for the 46th for the intentional sabotage of our economy energy and our republic lastly a special committee concerning the crisis of food shortages and the destruction of food distribution centers connect with all 50 governors as they did during the pandemic protocols they showed they could play nice nice then they don't have a choice this time dear readers if you enjoyed this rant please subscribe and share thank you for reading to the end if you have ideas for a topic you think i might be interested in please comment and leave me a link to follow Though I request that you do not send me anything Q research related topics or articles on the internet. I prefer full historical books or documentaries. I really like our earth science too. <laughs> Much love and many thanks, Wikijizuku. I never wish death upon anybody who wrongs me. I wish sudden explosive diarrhea while on a date with Perkins. Jesus. Up next, <laughs> let's see. Let's go to the third. See, I'm I'm reading you lots tonight, and these are all originals. I just finally had the strength to get up, sit in this chair, and tell you the stories. So, from mothers to monsters, patois. Good Lord, we need term limits. Look at old Miss Fonson. Yeah. I would be absolutely outraged at any of my family members if they kept my grandmother in until she was 90 years old. How could you? This is elder abuse, plain and simple, and I'm calling it out. How can this even be real, and why do the American people allow this to continue? To the board members of Walmart and any other mega corporation, please consider Dr. Jordan B. 
B. Peterson's advice. Message to CEOs. Um, you can find all of these video links uh, at the Substack article. We are not going to watch them tonight. Um, the following was an interesting take on the media. Now, this is Barry Weiss. I was calling attention to Barry Weiss for the Twitter files, everyone. She's a very interesting person. Really like her. And I recently watched a movie called Bombshell 2019, which didn't give any of the anchors or former or present from the Fox News a good look. The following podcast by Megyn Kelly has an interesting backstory to what was going on in the following. And at the same time, this is when she uh, kind of was talking about Alex Jones and, you know, she can, she, yeah, yeah. Okay, I really like Megyn Kelly. She's very straight arrow, you know, great news. Always loved it, but that was always such a confusing argument and, you know, you have to take everything that Jones says with a grain of salt and then you, and then you have this trustworthy, logical person that, you know, can literally, okay, I'll, I'll just stop there. But I am a fan. I like her. She's, you know, she's good when you've, when you've been out of the loop for quite a, quite a while. Some might think it weird, but I usually spend my day curled up with a book in lieu of listening to drivel or talking heads. I had to take a couple of weekends to completely recharge my creative well. So... How I spent my last two pleasant weekends, strange days then and strange days now, it's all the future promises is that it will be strange. What do you think? So I read these two books called The Aradia of uh, Gospel of Witches which, uh, and The Secret Commonwealth of Elves, Fawns, and Fairies. Um, these books are from the 1800s. They're, they are heavy, heavy material. You can't get past that. They are the the heaviest material I've ever come across. Um, Aradia is one of the books that the Masons use. They believe this shit. Okay? And I have one of these books. How'd I get it? Got it at a yard sale. Wasn't even fucking expecting this shit. So, maybe the pearhead Dave Rubin is on something when he gets going off the grid. One of my kids is walking through, and I don't want them to come in here. As there's, like, YouTube restrictions and shit. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Just a moment. We'll be right back, as it is an emergency break.
right, yo. Sorry about that. So let's get back to where we were. All right. Uh, hopefully there won't be another huge <laughs> interruption. Uh, let's see. Next. All right. So may maybe the pearhead Dave Rubin is on to something about going off the grid, which, yeah, he's on to something. Definitely. So, um, I left this one the, let's say, the last time. See, he's on, he's on this off-grid vacation again. And it always seems that I get back on the grid for like one month out of the year. And then, you know, he's going off-grid. And I see everything that he has posted in like a very short amount of time. I do absolutely everything at a quick pace. Uh, everything is times two for me. I have to watch things on times two. I have to listen to things on times two. It cannot keep my attention at all. Um, I might speak slow, but my mind is running at 10 million miles per hour. Um, usually, I'm also listening to music on top of everything. Uh, you know, audiobook on in the left ear. I'm listening to music. I have the news going on on the TV. I'm reading an actual physical book. I'm writing stuff. You know, I have shit going on in, in my head that just, you know, there are so many quarters and dark paths down there that Jordan B. Peterson would just love my family as a fucking case study. You know, uh, anyhow, let's go on. Uh, <laughs> it was... Here's, here's, here's a new poem for everyone. Wake up, lions. Why did our predecessors wail or sing? Realities of collaborated crime sp sprees. Meddling, lying, misleading schemers. No friend to be at the door. Drove them all away. Trouble everyone. Disappointment repeated effort. Becoming more efficient over time. They all fell into slumber. And the imps rejoiced. Spiders weaved webs of deception, catching riches from the masses. I'm a child of God's, as we all are. Not one, but all. Our first responsibility is to be and be to God. Practice what your lips profess. Truth be the path to glory. Heartache is the center of the story. So many, many players, the machine, as large as your earth fires to be. When will all of the other sleeping children be awake? This last is tired and our freedom is at stake. So that was, um, I posted that on September 5th, 2022. Yeah, so let's continue, everyone. Happy Halloween edition from Mothers to Monsters. <laughs> <sighs> we cats and humans here at Wicked Shizuku's Reviews. Hope you had a wonderful month of falling leaves, cool breezes, and bountiful artifice. And I linked a little Donald Duck video. That was so nostalgic. It was one of the only things that I saw that month, really. <laughs> so, at the beginning of the month, I had to unplug again for two weeks to get some family business done. I did, however, stumble across some really old clips that had me smiling with nostalgic memories, they set off. We suffered two great losses from our cat family. So, if anybody's ever actually listened to the podcast, uh, there's only three episodes. <laughs> Treasure in Earnest. Uh, we 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 lost Treasure in Earnest. Two of our great cats. And the other is that another cat uh, miscarried her first litter. And uh, I'll be updating that because it has been quite a while since I wrote this particular article and uh, email chain on Substack. Uh, let's see, Super Mario Brothers and Walt Disney's The Old Mill. Y'all gotta check these out. Real, real good little clips, you know. They're real good for kids. 
and I wanted to bring you a little balance with a little silly and some super serious with Dr. Jordan B. Peterson bringing up uh, some very important topics uh, that those living in a conservative background need to hear in, uh, in the following lecture. Yeah, watch that. Take some time. You know, uh, go find that one, people. Um, something I found very interesting this month while Halloween sneaks, sneaks up on us. Why we shouldn't let media distract us from the very important, from what is very important. And Elon Musk's acquisition of a social media platform with so many problems can't be overlooked. Don't get distracted by this and yay Kanye West's latest performance, performance circuits. Um, dig deep, dig deeper everybody. There are more damaging implications from this latest Senate Judiciary Committee hearing. So, uh, anybody that uh, tuned in to the birdie bit for a while, uh, I talked to some people on Twitch uh, from a while, for a while, uh, of a guy that ran a channel called Birdie Bit, and you know, I shared this with him, and he got, you know, he uh, he found quite a quite a few amusing ones from uh, Senator John Kennedy. So that's where that's from. But the entire uh, Senate Judiciary Committee meeting is uh, <laughs> very important. People, y'all need to watch that. Um, exactly what was going on here. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, the following professor is uh, thorough in explaining Stalin Mao and the Cold War and the Communist China and in an in-depth discussion of the looming threat. Glenn Beck and his colleague David Barton have some good pro proposals in the following video. So this is why does Joseph Stalin matter and uh, this is uh, Hoover Institution Stanford University um, video um they like to do these conferences and these conferences is a lot where you know this is where the gold is people you know y'all are getting distracted with watching <laughs> and not actually watching the people who are making the proposals and making all of these things uh, it is academia everybody that y'all need to focus on if you know somebody that is a teacher is that is a professor those are the people that you need to actually confront at church or you know just say what the hell are you teaching our kids in a story if, if, if you don't like what's going on if you know a teacher or if, by god if you have a teacher in your family call them and say hey are you teaching this shit and if they are shame on you and say, I need that paperwork. I need to be able to take this up to the county school board and, and make my voice heard. Because I don't agree with this. That's how you do it. Okay? And there's 3,006 counties, county school boards out there that we could all just, you know, stop going to. Yeah, there's, there's some BS that's going on, but, you know, that's always a lawsuit. That can be done, right? I don't see any losses there. Anyhow, uh, announcement. This is the, like, you know, I was trying to get everything started up, and I'm awful at schedules. I really am. It's been seven months since you had a video. Okay, so, anyhow. Um, you can, you, uh, I wanted to try you know, Twitch TV, but, you know, Twitch TV, it was always so stubborn. There's something that, you know, it's just like, Alabama internet, yeah, you're not going to get a really good stream, so it, you're going to get stuff from just a video. Because, like I said, you know, I'm not doing this for anybody else's gratification other than, you know, uh, somebody will actually recognize me when I walk through the door, and the other person you know she's able to listen to a book being read and that's what i hope to be able to bring people you know be able to read read books you know and the reads i've i have harped about how many how, about what we're reading on monday and tuesday and wednesday and thursday and friday and sometimes maybe on the weekends i'm going to start something you know that was that was the the plan but you know i just got so white-pilled and depressed about 
everything in this world is so ugly. World, you are ugly. And I remember you as beautiful. And I can't even go out into the damn street anymore without, you know, just something awful. Ugh. Next. <laughs> if you're still around. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, also, there were a couple of people that donated to my, my surgery fund. I really appreciate that. And there was somebody else that sent a pledge. Well, here's the thing. Um, I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have a bank account in order to be able to, uh, link that to the Substack. So, you know, if it, if it finally comes back to you, bless you, darling. You, you know who you are. Love you. <laughs> um, so, let's move on to the next. And sorry for babbling so much because it's been a long time since I talked to you and I had quite the experience this time <laughs> on, on the new surgery. And that's what uh, From Mother to Monsters Part 5 is about. Sorry for my shitty French pronunciation or pronunciations. But, yeah. <coughs> Forgive me. Hello again, lover, lovely readers, and thank you for returning. Forgive the break in regular posting, as this writer's health had deteriorated to the point of requiring surgical repair. For those who sent support and prayers, know that it was most appreciated and never forgotten. I will save the housekeeping updates for my next article. Uh, titled, A Good Dose of Education and How Do-Getters Are Ruining It. That is not exactly a From Mothers to Monsters article. It's a standalone article I was trying to write. So, yeah, um, it was a completely different topic. And I just didn't want to harp about that particular topic in From Mothers to Monsters. So, um, let's see. The, the following piece of prose resulted from this experience. I saw the terror of my dreams again. I went under the knife again to find repair. It hurt so much. The pain was just such. I stayed quiet and patient, barely made a sound. I grumbled to the bedside toilet, face covered in tears of pain. It hurts to stretch. Then my legs and feet got hives from that IV dripping in my vein. I had Jessica Rabbit's lips for a day or two and my eyes went halfway shut. I called for help, less in vain. Someone forgot to leave a call nurse button on the very first moon day. The day I woke up, the board said Sunday, but wasn't it Friday? The creature has snickered with happy glee, ever so excited to see me. It'd been so long since I'd seen it, the bat-like tree creature all covered in fuzz and moss. The terror of my dreams, this laughing creature, aside with new additions to his board of formula. In tiny breaks of sleep I would catch. He seems lonely up on a plane with a long stretch. Elegant script written with his vestigial appendage in chalk. Its wings veined with a long, woodish, whip-like vines. Ears that project personality like a sweet new puppy. My crown, it stroked, and I gently woke. With a flick of my nose, a vampire striking a pose. Ready to draw ruby drops with their silver needle teeth. Numbers constantly rotating on humming, floating wells to whisper distress or success. All the while, there is no rest. Every quarter of the clock, another poke or prod while I clutched for Creator God. They measured my water, stealing or adding ice chips or a heated shower. That seen thousands before me. Whenever my portal door opened, and I would hear chimes of the elevators, ding ding, I dreamed of my fluffy tail, ting ting. 
The favorite book the cat would sleep on would sneak out while mommy was out. The one from the first time she reached. I reached out and shared those words that went unheard multiple attempts just to dream and separate the hurt of my flesh. In and out, the creature weaved through dreamscape fields and plains, snickering at my horror-stricken face. New marks on the road map of the skin that used to look so milky fresh. So, I was on some good drugs, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, I wrote that immediately after I got home on, uh, Let's say I posted this on February 22nd, but I got out 2023, but I caught home on 6th, I believe, uh, that that month. Um, yeah, so it's been a roller coaster every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, uh, part sunk. Let's go to sunk first before I read a good dose of education to you. From Mother to Monsters, Part Sonk, March Madness Newsletter 2023, an open letter to all those persnickety readers. There's a possibility portions of western South Dakota and northeast Wyoming will see the aurora borealis tonight. The best chances will be across northwest South Dakota, skies are currently clearing from the west. Yeah, and this happened right after... Um, the, uh, the, the, the train had derailed and, uh, New Palestine had big plumes of smoke up in the air. Uh-huh. This was the same day, everybody. So, uh, yeah, I posted this one on March 5th, 2023. Hmm. Leave it to the we local weatherman to keep it real and scare the bejesus out of you few questions I would like to pose to these scientific academic types are have there been any notable differences with the aurora borealis since the East Palestine crisis in Ohio it's quite serious when Aaron Brockovich makes an appearance just saying how far away have there been acid rain incident re incidents reported in all directions on a G GIS GIS map, please. Which areas are the fur furthest range affected, including rivers, lakes, and ponds? Uh, was the Mississippi River contaminated? If yes, how far south? Because uh, it flows north, you know. Oh, did I just say some common sense? Uh, how have the livestock and agricultural uh, things been damaged, uh, both fiscally and ecologically? Yeah, we need well, we need these questions answered. Uh, some other questions I want to pose to these legislative types. Um, how can citizens of several states away from this disaster be affected both financially and ecologically? Um, how many re residents are going to be displaced and how many are coming to my state? Uh, are the neighboring states prepared for the displaced residents? Much less the agricultural fallout that is of that region. Congressman Comer seems to be a good fellow to talk to. Um, why has Kevin McCarthy been so quiet on this disaster and not called for a full subcommittee investigation of our food distribution, metals, fuel, and meat manufacturing plants spontaneously combusting? Um, what is being done? Uh, what is the FCC doing about propaganda influencers right now? I want to report. Um, stop sending money to any country until ours is fixed first. Can you fix the Smith Month? Act or um yeah maybe repeal the Patriot Act altogether. Um I like uh Thomas Massey because you know this guy gets it. He gets it. He does. Look at this shit. He he gets it. He yep. So um in 
Yeah, uh, save the public the grief with all of these networks, networks ousted from the political sphere by cutting funding to several of these, plus many of the state syndicate channels too. Personally, I don't subscribe to much and I try to keep my interactions at a minimum. Um, the internet caused a fracture in the social norms of human interaction. You can't go to the dentist's office without there being someone on their smartphone or either laughing at a video, they're tapping away at a game, or one time an older lady, she even showed me pictures of her terriers. The point being, there are different reasons to pass the time with a device, and for the last 14 years, though, I remained behind in keeping up with the latest movie, ET gossip, gadgets, and social media um i i try to keep life simple and honest my favorite thing to do before i got sick was to walk the roads and pick up cans for recycling while listening to audiobooks um not only was i making a little money i was cleaning up my community one mile at a time if only people had paid a little better attention to aerosmith back in the day you would have seen they were either warning society of the coming transgender push back in the 90s or they were just putting it out there to share their foibles on you know, yeah, here, you know, go watch it for yourself, everyone. Um, I find that there are so many awful apps and platforms, Telegram and Twitter and similar, that are, that are the most toxic. Watching all of these clown circus shows are really bizarre. The, the explosion of podcasts is, to, is also a mounting problem that the FCC is surely going to get involved in and throttle the hell out of for any quality content that won't be allowed to thrive. Many actual content creators are being drowned out by news jockeys, and the new slew of infighting between the alt media has given me the conclusion to not pay for subscriptions if eventually the content ends up not being relevant in six months stop financing what is degrading our world just stop what if we did a thought experiment this month and completely withdraw any support of any and all things q or trump related this would include the, an onslaught of hundreds of influencers right there through the Flynn network alone. Then it would branch out to bigger branches of the tree through America's Voice, Frank's Speech, Infowars, The Blaze, and then the big boys of the media through Fox, NBC, ABC, Legacy. Now, what if we said, who is John Galt? These influencers need us supporters, not the other way around. They can't live a lavish lifestyle if we don't support it with our energy, attention, or earnings. Just saying. And we shall now go to our next part. From Mother to Monsters, Sizeme Pate, Part 6, everyone. And look, I got a new banner. This is what I was busy doing. I was doing little stuff like this. Little stuff. Getting getting started. Because, seriously, I'm a woman, one woman show. You are getting it from a crappy laptop. You're getting it from one little bitty microphone that, that was... Forty three ninety nine plus shipping, I believe. Ah, uh, but yeah. Anyhow, ready for April showers to bring May flowers was the title of this one. Dear monsters, are you falling for the green climate change grift, the transgender grift, the COVIDian religious grift, the Q grift? It's just a clump of cells grift, the political spectrum grift. Not only are all of these before-mentioned scenarios built upon lies, but they're also immorally driven. Make no bones about it. If there are traditions or morals, there are people that want to corrupt them. Some will come out in full-out opposition, while others will cleverly deceive you to think that they're on your side. And you must help financially support them to fight the man. All the while, they twist you up psychologically to where you don't remember where your opinion ends and where theirs begin. 
So, there you go. How to recognize propaganda. Some boomers just might remember this. So, there you go, everyone. The Green Grip. Does anyone remember when there was something called global cooling and then later it was called global warming? I certainly remember. I was one of the children that fell into the global warming era. And then the idea of the poles melting from rising temperatures is completely ludicrous. And I say the same thing about what I call the green grift, which is most call climate change. Well, newsflash, everyone. The Earth cools and heats up depending on how much CO2 is in the atmosphere, along with oxygen and nitrogen. I could go into the actual particulars. However, that would be a waste of time compared to all the propaganda literature that is out there. All it would take is a little bit of common sense to know that the government is monkeying around with our atmosphere through ge geoengineering cloud seeding. You're making the wrong arguments by missing the forest, by focusing on a single tree. The, fo the question is exactly how are we going to get the government officials or those higher up than that to cease this particular behavior of messing with our weather patterns? Well, there you go. With Glenn Beck, Conspiracy Theories That Turned Out to Be True, Episode 272, Question Everything, I please 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 check out this episode it is very much worth it um while recycling is a wonderful concept the only particular recycling we should be focused on is plastics and the breakdown of what uh, of the uh that comes with microplastics within water and topsoil either we must ask the companies that we endorse to use different types of biodegradable biodegradable plastics or safer plastics that are more friendly to the environment, such as plastic bags made out of hemp. Additionally, the use of uh, mass hemp production can amend soil by replenishing nitrogen. Note to farmers and citizens that were affected by any of the North Folk Southern derailment disasters, put some serious thought into these sites. Um, I've uh, got some footnotes there in there. It, it goes through how hemp amends the soil and it will suck it out but here's the thing you're going to have to properly dispose of those plants to get all of that out and it's probably going to take about seven or eight cycles of hemp in those areas to be able to get it all out of the soil but it will work i swear to you the studies are in the footnotes all right so moving on oh and it sucks out the for forever chemicals in the in both soil and water. That's just what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I get ahead of myself. I'm sorry, everyone. So, next is the transgrift. And the United States has taken deprivation to an all time new low um, where boys can be girls and girls can be boys. Um, there has been plenty of noise about this for the last five years. And Joe Rogan experience with Jordan B. Peterson, episode 1070, perfectly. There you go. It's there. You go, you go. You go watch it. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what to think. I'm telling you what I think. <laughs> Any intelligent scholarly archaeologist or academic will simply tell you that this is absurd. This absurdity... This absurdity... This absurdity will drive Western civilization to its ruination. And that, in, in fact, is where this culture will go. Just as Sodom, Corinth, and Rome fell to due to cultural degradation the damage has already been done and cannot be fixed after years worth of indoctrination over two gen generations what can this civilization do in order to cease the moral degradation of our society i already said it in the first article but you know nobody likes that argument right it can't be as easy as some suggest that religion must be taken up again and practiced. It can't be a, a, as easy as saying that these ideals are wrong. Is it just a long waiting game in order for these sexual deviants to die out? What can be done in the interim? Uh, as this society collapses and other nations take over the position that the Americas has held for so long, uh, will the cycle of empires begin with within china rome or even england will the cycle of empire begin all over again food for thought you right 
the COVID grift. Back in 2020, I, along with millions of other Americans, were horrified by, by what we now know. Now known as a lab leak from the Wuhan, China. It was several days into the actual lockdown and many press releases that I realized early on that this was a seizure of control by the bureaucracy. Some may disagree that this was a play for power. However, I recognized what it was very early on through meticulous research and by taking a course called Pandemics and Pestilences. Uh, it was taught by Dr. Ryan at JSU, and Dr. Ryan's course helped to alleviate my fears due to not having a gallbladder or spleen. I was scared to death. I also learned that it, it would be dangerous for me to even take a vaccination because vaccinations are not stored within the spleen. They're stored within the spleen. I have no spleen. Think of it as your immunity database. By not having a spleen, any vaccination would target your liver which would overload the system of bodily functions. I procured much grief by making the decision that I would not take the COVID-19 vaccination by both family members and school officials since, which I have not returned back to school to finish my degrees. Um, I felt that not getting the vaccination would lead to a fair amount of discrimination, which I discovered to be true. And I felt pressured by professors with every Zoom meeting and in class lecture. In class, in a class on theater, I even burst into tears due to a professor demanding that all of her students go to the clinic and receive the vaccination before the semester was even finished. She had come down with a mysterious neurological ailment that required her to leave, uh, to take a leave of absence and have a substitute professor teach in her place. Uh, she had no concern with a student that was not medically able to receive a vaccination, much less uh, debate about it. And I knew it was a clear violation of the Nuremberg Code, which no one uh, in the university's administration clearly wanted to defend since they were in on the big money haul given by the federal government. Ultimately, this led to my decision not to continue until the university had called off a majority of its COVID mandates, which they still have a lot of them in, and to this day. And this was just a small part of my story, but I'm sure that much more will come out in the pursuit of my degrees in history and English. Moving on to the parenthood grift. Planned parenthood grift. As I wrote in the previous from Mother's Monsters Article 1. The Planned Parenthood grift is a dangerous one. Indeed, it's hard to navigate when it should be on a case-to-case -case basis when it comes to the topic of abortion. It is no concern of mine if women turn themselves into monsters by aborting their babies. But don't do it on my tax dollars. It was not my, my path in life to rid myself of my children, and I can be sympathetic to emergency health reasons for, for the mother. For example, strokes, car accidents, and damage to the fetus by kidney or, or kidney disease because of the pregnancy. Although, I am not the one who will have to answer God on my day of judgment about this issue. It is why he gave us free will in order to choose what story we tell him on that day. All right. I would like to stress that the birth rates following the post 9-11 and Gen Z aren't as large as the millennial generation, which is also in rapid decline due to the spike of suicide and overdose poisonings. And if today all you did was hold on, hold yourself together, I'm proud of you. Even Elon Musk has commented in, in one of his numerous interviews that we are in danger of collapse of our civilization if we don't meet our replacement level and we're falling behind and there needs to be a serious conversation about Social Security because there aren't enough people to replace the outgoing retirees. It's either going to collapse the dollar or establish a new system including the tsunami of people that are coming across our borders. And then there's the Q grift. Uh, I I linked a, I linked the paper here. Um, it's about the origins of Q. It's written by Professor Dilly. I. Uh, it's not complete. 
I don't think uh, I came across an interesting academic paper thoroughly detailing some of the origins of the Q movement. And uh, here's what I go on to say about this paper and everything. I'm not going to dwell a lot on this bullshit. I feel that this paper is leaving out a lot of information uh, out, nor did it cover the up-to-date characters that arose from this movement. There are holes in some of the connections and many social media platforms were excluded, which would have explained the scope of the paper. Uh, though I give the writers of this paper a hearty applause, I really do, really do, Professor Dilly, good job on all of those citations. How long were you doing those citations? That must have been hell woman. Kudos on that. So, anyhow, um, there were a few things that I think that could have been better, such as your color schemes for the grass as the shades chosen are difficult to focus on. And, and that's, that might be me. Other people might think that, hey, the grass are just fine. Me, I, I have a lot of trouble trying to focus now on um, bright, bright colors everything so yeah um the tables used for the usernames only seemed half accurate because it does not seem that this paper was written for post dod acquisition of this psyop which is why i find this thing. just you know the political grift and this dear readers is where all the grifts meet in an orgasming clusterfuck of confusion and debauchery you have over 400 different agencies, unaccounted for, NGOs, lobbyists, media influencers, top brass military members, unnumbered intelligence members, 435 congressional families, justices, and the staff that runs the entity called Washington, D.C. The War on Drugs Explained is a chessboard with just the two kings under the table. The government on one side, the drug cartels on the other side, and the two kings under the table shaking hands. Any questions? The Restrict Act and AI are an enormous threat in Elon Musk and Glenn Beck have been making noise about. Having a score measured by the words you write or say is the very definition of infringing on our First Amendment rights, and this is spitting on the graves of Arlington. Piss off! The Restrict Act would go as far to outlaw these uh, the use of VPNs, flag you for the use of Bitcoin or other cryptos, monitor your banking and social media posts, harsh changes in cash apps, and in any way do business online. For example, Etsy and eBay, everybody. Yeah, they're going to mess with that crap. Over $600? Whoop. Yeah, you got you to gotta report that stuff because guess what? There's 85,000 new IRS agents. And they're going to be knocking on your doors if you get $1 over that $600. Ooh. Yeah, it's starting to get that serious. And you don't believe it? The, the articles are out there. <sighs> Moving on. Immigration, first and foremost, collect DNA from every mail coming across that border. Interlink all police and federal databases. Those already guilty are to be taken to Gitmo. It is not humane for a child to have over 60 specimens in her body, much less have one forced upon her. It's fucking impossible to tell me that the government doesn't have the computing power when I know they do. Whatever we see on TV is in actuality. We are 30 years more advanced than what they are telling us. Cross-reference the crap right now. The justice system... Shouldn't be bogged down with frivolous naysaying. There are people who should be in jail that are not. Starting with the first and second families, past and present. Get that? I'm bipartisan here. Yeah, there's Republicans and Democrats. They should be in jail from the first and second families. Bill Gates and Blackstone and BlackRock 
are these bad actors going to step up and comp compensate these migrants for the pain and suffering they have caused as well as to the citizens of this nation? Why do we not have judges at the border? Maybe getting 10 down there would be a good start. I mean, I'm just idea amusing here. Uh, <laughs> Ukraine and Russia and China weren't going to war when the guy at the end in this video, which is a surprise, you, you know, it's it's Donald J. Trump, everybody. It's it's Trump at the end of WrestleMania 4. And, and, and yeah, it's perfect chef's kiss. You know, you got, you, you just, you just love Trump. But, you know, I, I'm going to keep reading because this isn't about the orange man. Anyhow, just saying. Cheers and much love, Shizuku. Yeah, so had do I have to read it to you? Yes, I do. So I will read the housekeeping, the update and housekeeping because this was a couple of months ago that I wrote this for you. Um, let's see, an update and housekeeping. Well, the cats and humans at Wiki Shizuku's reviews made it through safely from the recent storm system passing through the deep south. Our sympathy and prayers go out to the surviving family members of those lost. Please pray for the residents of Rolling Forks, Mississippi, as they rebuild. I was praying for you. If you ever do see this. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my absence from social media at times. Unlike Dave Rubin, taking a whole month, I'll take a week or three from the internet unannounced every other month or so. You know, I mean, it just happens. You know, I'll get so sick of everything. That I'll turn it all off. Just walk away. And read my books. And that's about it. So, uh, as you can tell, finally, um, I had a death in the family. And even though it was expected, it's no less devastating. And uh, she's up there with her husband. She's, isn't she lovely? You know? She's in her, in her velvet box. And with her jack-in-the-box so you know they're together um it's been hard for husband it's been hard for me it's been hard for kids uh my uh so since since uh since surgery i had kidney stones um and it's like up and down every day with the sugar levels, it's like it wildly fluctuates. It's like I can eat, you know, or I can drink like four ounces of milk and my sugar just completely soars through the roof, you know, and it's like, oh God, I feel drunk. You know, because I have no spleen and I have no gallbladder, everything is ten times more sensitive than would be any other way, you know. So, there is that, you know, um, and I'm sorry that I just, I just haven't, you know, there's no morale to read at the moment, you know, other, you know, to read out loud, and, you know, I was very, a couple of issues happened, um, it was like Mean Girls happened, you know, to me online, and, uh, there was this one, one friend that, got mad at another friend and they were twitch chat friends you know I don't know them in real life don't know them for me you know but you know they turned on they turned on the broadcaster and everything and it was just like I got completely left out of the whole situation didn't know what the heck was going on and what was being said behind here or there but you know I kind of figured out you know kind of figured something was going on it was like I'm just going to take myself out of this whole situation. And then, you know, the broadcaster, they finally snapped at me. And I was just like, you know what? I, I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. I'm two weeks away from going on. I'm, I'm two weeks away from going to the hospital finally after two years to get my my surgery. I, you know, it, it was absolute hell. You know, sitting in this chair for two years it was hell sitting in this fucking chair and i can finally get up i really can even though i haven't yet and you haven't seen me get up i can get up i can walk around i can actually jump on my gazelle freestyle and actually freaking go to town but then you know if if i get on the gazelle for too long 
then the sugar, you know, will completely plummet, you know, within five minutes of being on the, the, the gazelle freestyle and me, me running as fast as I can, because, you know, I love that, I love that, you know, that jack, that, that jackrabbit feeling that you get from running, I really do, and I missed it so much, you know, that, uh, just being able to work out on a regular basis, again, I, wish I could get back to it without, you know, just completely bottoming out, you know, it's one or the other, it's either my freaking numbers are too high, or my numbers are too low, it's, it's you know, have a headache, or either be drunk, it's like, oh shit, and yes, I've been cussing lots and lots and lots, and I, tr I really do try to keep it clean, I really try to keep it clean, but you know, what's the point? What's the point? I see, I see much more filthy things on, on the television just with a commercial. Huh? Prove me wrong. I do. I see, I see commercials that are just absolutely lascivious. Excuse me. Yuck. I really don't want to know what a WAP is. Thank you, Miss Miss B. Anyhow. I have computer issues. I'm running low on memory and videos are sizable. I'm indecisive about which platform to trust or even join. I'm honestly not in this place, social media hopscotch, and I need an app to be reliable and available on Roku. As I'm able to clear space on my laptop, I might make an episode for reading all of these books on, on here, and I don't want to lose my episodes, you know? I'd, other people are able to, to to afford servers and all of that storage space. I don't have that. Uh, like I said, I'm a one-woman show. My Wi-Fi connection is not up to the task of streaming on Twitch and so far uploading videos on YouTube is sufficient. And I explained that earlier. Okay, okay moving on. So, um, yeah, I go through all the books that I was reading and everything. Yeah. So say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and 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 uh, have a good night. You know. Uh, as you can see, I have you know all of my footnotes here. They're all in in order. I I am very meticulous about these things. You know. Uh. So that is it, and uh, let's say I'm going to, I'm going to um, hold off from actually reading you any reviews tonight. So, yeah. And let me go back here. Go to page one two. So. That's everything that's been going, and I've given you a one hour and 35 minute update of everything that's been going on in my crazy life for the last seven months. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're, you, you know, if you stuck around this long and, and was, found my babbling to be um, educational or, yeah. You know, even entertaining, entertaining, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you, and uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share, and do all shit, you know, uh, love you.